This is Oberlin College, a liberal arts college located in Oberlin, Ohio. In December of 2015, a group of black students gave the administration a 14-page list of demands, you know, because it was the cool thing for black college kids to do at the time. One of the ridiculous demands they made was for what they called student leaders who spend time organising protests for whatever reason to be paid by the college for their activism work. $8.20 an hour to be specific. Here's some students from Oberlin College who blocked access to the Detroit Superior Bridge as part of a peaceful protest. And once they'd finished making complete cunts of themselves there, they made their way into the Cleveland CBD and did their best to bring rush hour traffic to a halt. Because that's how you garner support for social justice issues. You make hard-working people from the local area spend another hour sitting in their cars on the way home from work. As you'd expect, the administration told the group of students to stick their 14 pages of demands up their ass and fuck right off. Well, it looks like they've been at it again this week. We're going to have a look at an article sent to me today by Brian. Thanks, Brian. Oberlin students want to abolish midterms and any grades below C. Students at Oberlin College are asking the school to put academics on the back burner so they can better turn their attention to activism. More than 1,300 students at the Midwestern Liberal Arts College have now signed a petition asking that the college get rid of any grade below C for the semester, and some students are requesting alternatives to the standard written midterm examination, such as a conversation with a professor in lieu of an essay. Well, that seems completely reasonable, doesn't it? I mean, why should these poor students' grades have to suffer simply because they didn't show up to university? And written essays? Fucking hell, I think Oberlin needs to get with the times. Like it's 2016. <laughs> students should be able to get out of their midterm exam essays by simply having a conversation with a professor. But that still doesn't cater for the needs of students oppressed by tiredness, does it? I think they should be able to do it by text message as well. That way they could use emojis to save themselves the effort of writing proper sentences. Plus they wouldn't have to get out of bed. <laughs> the students say that between their activism work and their heavy course load, finding success within the usual grading parameters is increasingly difficult. A lot of us worked alongside community members in Cleveland who were protesting. Megan Bautista, a co-liaison in Oberlin student government, said, referring to the protests surrounding the shooting death of 12-year-old Tamir Rice by a police officer in 2014. But we needed to organise on campus as well. It wasn't sustainable to keep driving 40 minutes away. A lot of us started suffering academically. Well, Megan, you should be thankful your drive doesn't take you 80 minutes because a heap of whinging college faggots are blocking roads and bridges and shit. The student activist's request doesn't come without precedence. In the 1970s, Oberlin adjusted its grading to accommodate student activists protesting the Vietnam War and the Kent State shootings, the New Yorker reports. But current students contend that same luxury was not granted to them, even though the recent rice protests were over a police shooting that took place just 30 miles east of campus. Okay. You know, we're paying for a service. We're paying for our attendance here. We need to be able to get what we need in a way that we can actually consume it, student Zakaya AC told The New Yorker. Because I'm dealing with having been arrested on campus or having to deal with the things that my family are going through because of larger systems, having to deal with all of that, I can't produce the work that they want me to do. But I understand the materials and I can give it to you in different ways. Okay, Zakaya, a few things here. If you can't produce the work that they want you to do, that's perfectly fine. Drop out of college and come back when you do have the time. You do pay fees to go to college. A college is an institute of learning. The idea is you consume and revise information, then you get tested to ensure you've consumed the information properly and revised sufficiently. If you're successful, you'll receive a qualification which you can then use to demonstrate your worthiness to potential employers. You're paying for an education. It is not the responsibility of the college to alter the way it operates to suit your lifestyle. Now, like many other people I'm sure, I'm curious to know why you were arrested on campus and why you weren't subsequently fucking expelled. I mean, whatever you did must have been pretty serious to warrant being arrested. And what things are your family going through because of larger systems? That's an incredibly hollow statement. The kind of statement you often hear social justice warriors make simply to top up their oppression points and increase their victim status. And finally, you and all the punsy cunts you call friends need to start taking responsibility for your own lives. I mean, you're college students and you sound like seven-year-olds. Do you honestly lack the self-awareness to notice this? Why aren't you totally embarrassed to be you? So I was standing there with a few mates earlier today and we started making stupid immature gay jokes as you do. Then somehow the topic shifted to Phil Collins. 
And all of a sudden, me mate Toddy, yeah, he actually looks like that. He announces, Phil Collins? By the time I'm done with him, he'll be full Collins. It was hysterical laughter and fist bumps all round. Then I said, You know what, Toddy? That was such a good gay joke, I might put it at the end of the video I'm making today. Fuck context, we'll just chuck it in. And so Toddy was like, You should say it was your mate Toddy's joke. And put this photo in so I get recognised by YouTube sluts. So yeah, that's exactly what happened. Except for the whole being recognised by YouTube sluts thing. That, that hasn't happened yet. Catch ya. You know, watching my channel grow as quickly as it has, has been fucking incredible. It's nice to know that there's so many people out there who enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Like anyone else, I've got cubs to feed and bills to pay, so I really appreciate all the support that I get. It allows me to create and publish better videos at a faster rate. If you'd like to throw something in the hat as well, you can either support my videos on a continuing basis through Patreon, or by making a one-time donation via PayPal. You'll find links in the description. If you can't or don't want to, that's okay too. You can help my channel grow by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching.